Hello, Marielos. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? Fine, thanks. Okay. Did you have a busy day? A busy, yeah, a busy day, yes. I have a busy day. And we have, um, um, it was raining this, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Really, really, uh, I, well, how do you say, uh, um, with, uh, fuerte, lloviendo fuerte. It's strong, strongly. Strong, but mm -hmm. in an expression, in idiomatic expressions. Repeat, Maria Luz. Um, I, um, we have an, an idiomatic expression about. Oh, uh, yes, cats and dogs. Cats and dogs, okay, cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> Thank you. It, it was raining cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. We have in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a similar one. It was raining cats and dogs. Cats and mm -hmm. dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay. Um, okay. Here in in where where are you, Marielos? In what city? In Santa Ana. Um, because in here in Santa Tecla, in the afternoon, no, it was. It was okay, no problem. And San Salvador too. I went to San Salvador also in, in the afternoon. Nice, sunny, no rain. Really? Yeah. Oh. yeah uh, I remember because I was walking in the street. I didn't have to, I didn't have to do anything because only walk. And it was nice and sunny. I said, hey, it's pretty. Oh. And that's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> in, in Santa Ana, the, the streets um, it was, uh, I don't know, inundadas. Oh, flooded. Ah, oh, flooded, yes. Yes. Um, I was driving to Metro Centro and uh, I'm, I was afraid that the, the car stopped because of water oh wow a lot of water then huh? yes yes a lot of water yes but no problems no no problems no oh, okay problems. lucky yes. that's lucky mm -hmm. yes yes uh -huh. okay. our, our, my classmates it doesn't come in it doesn't come in <laughs> yeah no here's miguel maritza sirhan really Yes, oh, of oh yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am uh, for my cell phone. I can see it then. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, oh. that's the idea. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Miguel, Sirhan, Maritza, how about you? How was your day? Can't complain. Hello? Can't complain. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's a good day, huh? Yes. Yes, it's uh, you. Pretty good. Okay. We're just talking about uh, the weather, that it was raining and flooding, and uh, uh, the work is okay. Uh, do you guys have to work on Friday, or are you going to stay home, or what, what are you going to do on Friday? Is day off? In my or... case, I'm going to stay home. Okay, so everyone has the day off. Yes. Yes. Ah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Get a chance to relax. And what are the plans? What are you going to do? What are you going to do with the day off? Sleep, uh, watch TV, go, go for breakfast, what? Uh, for me, uh, I stay with my kid and see see some someone series on Netflix. Okay, what series? And uh, Pinky Blinders. Pinky ah, Blinders. I like <laughs> the Pinky Blinders. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I put the last season in this week on Netflix. Yeah, it's a pretty good show. I like it. A little mm -hmm. violent. 
I, yes, a little violent for your children, nice. but <laughs> it's okay. This is Salvador. <laughs> yes, and um, strange and things, and and Obi Wan and Obi. Ah, okay, and Disney. Disney. Okay. Okay. Good, good. What about you, Miguel, Maritza, Nelsie, Mayra? What are your plans for Friday? Hello, Hello, everybody. And for Hello. Friday is only clean the house to wake up very early. And <laughs> after that, to take a delicious breakfast. And <laughs> I think that to clean all my house because I'm going to to, to the sea, or to the beach, sorry. <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday with my family. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's really my plan. That's, that, that's my plan with my family because I just remember my dad on Friday with my, with my um, recuerdo. How do you say? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know what recuerdo, maybe memory. Memories uh, with yes. memory. Okay. Yes, because my dad, um, he is dead in 2020. 20, 20. Okay. 10 years ago. That's only, only that. Okay. All right. A lot of activities. I don't think about cleaning. It's not, it's not in my list. It's not in my list for Friday, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, Miguel Angel, you were going to say? Uh, in the list, uh, I ha I am going to working is uh, morning. Uh, in the afternoon too is Frida is not celebration. Uh, with my dad is the celebration with my family, mm -hmm. and my dad in Saturday is. Because is is not not working, but I I traveling for the beach or traveling for a a mall or metro centro. Uh, is a uh, how do you say vitriñando? Sorry. Teacher. No no no, it's okay because there's no vitriñando, but there is window shopping. Okay. Oh, it's window shopping mm -hmm. <laughs> in the morning, eating in the breakfast, in the in the afternoon and coffee. Uh, uh, is uh, shopping. Uh, repeat, please. Uh, window. Is window. Window. The window. Window shopping. <laughs> window, cho oh, window, window shopping. Window. Oh. window shopping is is yes with my family teacher. Okay. Yeah. Some. Sometimes it's nice only to go out and ah, have an ice cream or chata and only to see and, and, and imagine and look at the different things. Okay, good. All right, guys. Well, I'm so happy that you are connected today. Uh, we are ready to get started and continue with our progress. Before we continue, any questions about the platform, any problems on the exercises? I almost finished, teacher. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I have a problem with only um, one, one sentence, one, one verb. That uh, is is almost in the in the exam. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, for the only only one verb. That's good. Okay. Is phrasal verb. No, phrasal verb, no, 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 it's not phrasal verb. It's about, um, um, I think that is a, a platform mistake. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe when we get to it, we can check. No okay, problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay, good, good. Well, yesterday we were looking at uh, modifiers, okay? And the different ways how to describe the, the cities, the orders, things like that, right? 
Today, we're going to start off by doing a small listening. Hang on. Let me share my screen. Okay, this is 3.8. Okay, we have 3.8, and then we're going to have a little reading. Right now, we're going to listen. I want you to listen about who enjoys living in Sydney more, Maria or Ian. So we're going to listen. Who enjoys living in there more, and what do they say? Okay. Yeah. Who says it's easy to get around? Who says the beaches are great? That the rents are expensive? It's a fun place to live. The restaurants are expensive and life is better in a smaller town. All right, so it's going to be Maria, Ian, or both of them agree. You ready? Yes. Ready. ready. Okay. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the U.S. before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good, which is important for me because I don't have a car. So, you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. I love the harbor and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh, yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast, too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the U.S. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here, too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm. I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. There are far too many cars, and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going, and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better, too. All right. What do you think? It's okay? One more? One more, teacher. Okay, one more time then. Let's listen again and try to get all the information we need. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the U.S. before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good, which is important for me because I don't have a car. So, you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. 
I love the harbour and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast, too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the US. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm. I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. There are far too many cars, and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going, and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better too. Okay, a lot of information, a lot of information. Let's take a look. Okay, number one, who enjoys living there more? Maria or Ian? Um, Maria. 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 Okay. Who says it's easy to get around Sydney? Maria. Okay. Who says the beaches are great? Yeah. Both. 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 Yeah. Both. Yeah. Okay. Who says the rents are expensive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Both. Yeah. What about it's a fun place to live? Maria. Maria. Okay. The restaurants are all expensive? Maria. Maria. Maria, okay. And what about life is better in a smaller town? Yeah. 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 All right, let's take a look. Hey, correct, 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 correct. All of our answers are correct. Great, great listening. Any questions? Anything that you're not sure what you heard or any words? No? Okay, great. Now, with your partner, we're going to do a little bit of reading. In 3.9, you're going to read with your partner. Here we have the article. You can make it bigger, of course. Always is possible. Only you zoom in, okay? Then you can make the tale of two cities, all right? The idea is to read a little bit about Australia, okay? Here we have, so with your partner, you're going to read the information for this 3.9. And after you read with your partner, you're gonna make a decision. Is it true or false, these sentences? Okay? Okay, okay. So read, discuss, and then is true or false the information in this, in this article? Okay. Okay? Let me make, it's about right.
Okay, let's try together. Let's see how well you did. What about number one? What is both Melbourne and Cinder, uh, Sydney Ciders love their city? Excuse me, teacher. Sure. We are mm -hmm. uh, we have in my in the group. We have some some doubt about some word. Okay, let's take a look at the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the. Um, uh, uh, there are some words that is, I'm going to read the sentences. Um, say, for the opera house, instead it low kit and sorry. Uh, instead, it's low key and savvy. Mm -hmm. What is savvy? It is like classy, like with style. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Style? One style? Like, like fashionable. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, Bushworks, teacher? Repeat. Bushworks. Bushwalk. Bruce Box. The, the first line in. The first line in the second. Prime. The second part. Bruce. Bruce the first Wall. line? In the second part. A, a, um, according Bruce. to many Melbourne. No, 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 the first the, light in the in the right side. In the right side. Oh, okay. Bushwalk. Bushwalks. Yes. yes. This one. Bushwalks is the name that um Australians use when they go out like in the, um, they don't have a taco and huayuba. They don't have towns. They only have open space like El Pital, Monte Cristo. So for them it's not mountains, for them it's bush because it's flat. So this is called bushwalks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Salvadorians, because we have mountains and volcanoes, we go hiking, no bushwalks, we go hiking. No bushwalks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hiking. Yes, in El Salvador we go hiking. Okay. And quaint Melbourne, Melbourne has quaint old buildings. Ah, uh, like queen? cute, like cute. Cute is. Yes. Cute. Okay. So, so Melbourne has quaint old buildings, like pretty or cute old buildings. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. The other words are okay? All right, let's go ahead and check then. Let's see. Number one, both more, uh, Melbournians and Sydney Siders love their city. Is this true or false? Mm, true. 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 Okay. Melbourne is famous for its spectacular beaches? False. 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 Okay. The pace of life is, slow, is slower for Sydney Siders than for Melbournians. False. 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 Okay. And Melbourne gets ideas from different countries in Asia. True. True. True or false? True. 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 Okay. All right. Very nice. That is correct. We have all of the answers correct. Good job. Any questions? No, teacher. No? All right. So no, now with our partners, we are going to take a moment and we are going to chat about traveling. Do you like to travel? Do you travel a lot? Do you go to I different places? A, 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 a lot, no, a lot, no, but. I have traveled, but no. Um, yes, I no, I we travel a lot. Do you know that Salvadorians is 
a lot for Salvadorians, a little for Salvadorians is a lot for Americans. Because in El Salvador, we say, nah, we don't travel a lot. But most Salvadorians have visited Guatemala, Honduras, uh, you know, the, the different areas. But most Americans never, never leave the United States. The majority of Americans don't have passports. They don't, go, not even to Canada. They don't visit Canada. Mm -hmm. The so, Americans not, not traveling. Yeah, they, no, they travel, but only, only in, in the U.S. It's like from here to, they say, ah, I'm going to go to San Miguel. <laughs> or I'm going to go to, they, they only travel inside, inside their country. Okay. Mm -hmm. The majority, the majority only inside. But Salvadorians, Guatemalans, Hondurans, Costa Rica is, is very common that the people, ah, for Saturday, Sunday, I go to go to Guatemala. Hey, what are you going to do for Valentine's? Ah, I'm going to go to Antigua. Another country, another culture. But in the US, I worked mm -hmm. in Guatemala. I worked in Guatemala for three years. In 19, no, 2000 and 2002, and two, two, uh, for three years. But I, I know Shela, I know I know I know Kuche, but I don't know Antigua. <laughs> and Antigua is very famous, huh? Yes, it's famous, but I, I was um, working. I love what Antigua, Guatemala. It's my favorite city in Guatemala. <laughs> I like the weather. Ah, good. Yes, it's a wonderful view with uh, the volcanoes around the mm -hmm. Catarina, Arco de Santa Catalina. I, I, at night, I suppose that it's very, very nice. I would like to be there at night. Okay, yeah, it's very nice there. Now, when you talk about places, cities, countries, it's not correct to say, I know. It's not correct to say, I, I met. Mm -hmm. I it's not it. correct, oh, I met Guatemala, I met San, uh, Antigua, no. It's, and, and it's not correct, I know. It's, I have visited or I have seen. This is the correct way that you say for different places. Oh, I have seen Antigua, Guatemala. I have visited Antigua. Or sometimes the people say, I have been to. Uh, it's correct to say, uh, for example, I went to Cusco. I went to correct. Cusco correct. Uh, eight, eight years ago, but I haven't seen Machu Picchu. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Okay. So, I, only, I only stay in Cusco. Ah, in okay. Cusco. All right. So one more time, we have the link in the chat. Uh, we have many questions to help you. And then, of course, the idea is for you to create your questions and continue the conversation with the partner. Not only I partner, number one, where do you like to go on vacation? And my partner answer and finish. No, my partner answer and I ask more information. Who do you go with? When was the last time? Is it expensive? It, what is the recommendation? No, the idea is you create the other questions. Only this, only to give you the idea to start the conversation. Uh, teacher, uh, I have a thought. Uh, for example, when we are going to join to talking, uh, it's not possible that, that you can join with us. No, Juan Jose. Because eh, Insafor eh, requiere la grabación de una hora y cuando se sale de la sala principal y me uno, corta la grabación y se va disminuyendo el tiempo. Y en okay. Safor, uh -huh, okay. Okay. El año pasado sí estaba permitido porque podía hacer la grabación de, solo veían el reloj de siete, de, de ocho a nueve. Pero desde este okay. año dijeron que no, que la grabación que sube El tiempo tiene que decir una hora. That's okay. Why. Uh, uh, okay, I, 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 I understand. But, yes, yes. but no, I no, no. Think... But it's, it's, it's good question. It's good question, Juan Jose. And is this is the I explain in Spanish. So 
is is not because of me is because the the insa form is now is obligation record one hour for the class yes i i understand and i i think that is it's okay but but i think sometimes for example when when we are going to talk with another con, uh, person uh, sometimes we can uh, make a mistake for example of course. Uh, mm -hmm. and for that is very important that you listen yes uh, with us and, and you can listen for this yes i agree okay. I, I i i would like to but for this reason is because then that if I go from room to room, reduce the time for the recording and stop it. That's why. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go with our partners and let's begin.
Okay, let's start off. What did you learn about your partner? What did they say? The places, the things they trip, they like to go to. Tell me, what, what did we learn about our partners? Uh, all, all the conversion for all the conversation is uh, the like play is Guatemala City. Yes, we are talking about Cayalai. That's very expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Yes, we uh, we have a uh, this place in co in common because Sirhan was there in another years different with me, and we are talking about the prices, the places that are very expensive, and actually they are building some places to live there. And in Cayala, yes, Cayala, yes, like apartments, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the coffee is very expensive in there, too. The coffee is the same yes. as Starbucks, yes. Uh, coffee is always coffee, it's, it's expensive. Uh huh, it's, it's, it's the same. If you imagine Starbucks, is the same multiplaza, the same Cayala, mm -hmm. yes. And we are talking about Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> ah yes, I I don't like Dunkin' Donuts, Guatemala Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, the, that that's donuts are very famous in Guatemala. Yes, but they are very small. They're like little, <laughs> little small. Yeah, I I tell you, Aunelli, uh, that Dunkin' Donuts uh, uh, put a restaurant in the nineties. Right? In El Salvador. Here, here in the Salvador. Yes. Near 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 to to Don Rua Church mm. for the colonial life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just, but the difference, the, the, the concept of Dunkin' Donuts is different in the US than in El Salvador. Really? Yes, it's very different because it, in, in El Salvador, people imagine Dunkin' Donuts like Mr. Donuts with yeah. food, <laughs> with typical, and in the U.S., no, it's donuts, croissants, uh, coffee, chocolate, is, is this. But because in the U.S. is very, very common to have in the office the, for free, it's very common for free in the office, the people bring the donuts, the office give the donuts, like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, is very common in the office, the coffee is free. In the U.S., is very, is very, uh, is very common that they, in the office they offer free coffee, free tea, free in many places. Give free donuts, or the the people have one donut. For example, uh, I buy the donut this week. Uh, Miguel buy the donut next week, and the next and buy twelve donuts. This is the typical. This is the typical office relationship. In El Salvador, is not typical. Uh, the turns for buying the donut. Ah, I have my breakfast. I have my, my pupusitas and that's it. Yeah. Is your you don't have pupusa? Is your problem? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mini pupusa. Yes, yes, yes. This is why that the I think is many many restaurants have to change the concept for Latin America because it's different. It's different the 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 relationships for the office for the work. For the families. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. Who else? Who else? Give me another person, another volunteer. Tell me about your partner. Go ahead. Only one. Me, teacher. Go, go ahead. Excellent. Okay. Um, we talked about. Um, that that uh, Sergio traveled to Peru. Uh, he visited Peru and he told us um, he was in Lima. Um, he he saw a um, spectacular um, font in in the park, and in the park he told us. Um, the, the fountains has a many lights, color lights, and and the spectacular um, images uh, uh, of 
images is is tra transparent i don't know is is correct no it, <laughs> no it's, it's not it is re uh, reflection uh, what reflect uh, reflect ah reflect 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 mm -hmm. reflect images in the fountain it's ah, a okay. very uh, uh, it's, it's a good spectacle, spectacular, okay? Spectacular. Okay, a good show. It's a good, a good show. show. Yes. Okay. yes. Excellent, excellent. All right. So thank you so much. We are going to pause there. Today we finish Unit 3. We complete Unit 3. Uh, the idea is this. The idea is that we go to Unit 4 tomorrow. That way the next week we finish the exam before the last day, okay? okay. So okay. tomorrow we begin unit four, the last day for this week, the class. And next week we finish only five more classes, five more classes. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Have a nice Thank night. You. I see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.